Good morning dear student dear student as you all are familiar that we are going through with our 6th chapter which is main sector of indian economy in this chapter we already did the main sector of indian economy after that the meaning and the role of agriculture then we did the causes of low productivity or problem of indian agriculture okay dear student now our today's topic is impact of agriculture practices on ecosystem in this particular topic we will understand that what is ecosystem is all about what are the components of ecosystem and the last one is impact of agriculture practices that what are the different impacts of agriculture practices on our ecosystem okay dear student so let's begin with our today's topic okay dear student so our today's topic is the impact of agriculture practices on the ecosystem before starting this uh, topic we have to understand what is ecosystem dear student in our everyday life you see so many living and non living or uh, uh, non living uh, things okay living and non living things which live together or which is totally depend upon each other together so they constitute an environment dear student and this particular environment creates our ecosystem so we can say that our ecosystem is the summation of living and non living things we uh, where uh, which can uh, which they can live in a particular place or in particular environment it is simply known as your ecosystem dear student this particular term of ecosystem was coined by the british uh, botanist whose name was tansley in 1937 okay according to the british botanist tansley in 1935 that an ecosystem or a ecological system can be defined as a group of living and non living things which are interdependent and are found in a particular type of environment so dear student always keep in mind that ecosystem or ecological system is a group of living and non living thing which i told you that it is the summation of it is the summation of living and non living thing so we can see that ecosystem is a group of living and non living thing which are which are interdependent okay which are interdependent on each other and found on a particular type of environment so these are the key point of this particular definition that in ecosystem we have a group of living non living things okay which are interdependent on each other and they are found in a particular type of environment so this is the definition of ecosystem and this definition was given by tansley who is a british botanist in 1935 okay dear student now move to our next part which is components of ecosystem what are the different components of ecosystem this is your question the answer is there are three main components of ecosystem the first one is terrestrial ecosystem the second one is aquatic ecosystem and the last one is artificial ecosystem dear student if you talk about the terrestrial ecosystem this is the natural uh, natural ecosystem which is created by the nature okay like we have land we have forest we have desert we have grassland we have agro based ecosystem so all these are natural natural gift or all these are naturally made ecosystem if you talk about the aquatic ecosystem dear student it operates in water and it can be further divided into two part one is fresh water ecosystem and the second one is marine ecosystem now the question is what is fresh water and marine ecosystem dear student if you talk about the fresh water ecosystem it simply means you have different rivers in our india and in those river we have a aquatic life okay we have fish we have crocodiles okay we have algae okay we have so many plants in that particular river so there is a life okay where we have living and non living both the things so this is known as fresh water ecosystem similarly if you talk about the marine ecosystem we have the oceans and the same living and non living things were found in that particular marine ecosystem so that's why aquatic ecosystem is divided into two part okay dear student our last part is artificial ecosystem dear student this ecosystem was made by the human being okay like fishery tanks dams cropland okay all the this type of ecosystem is created by the human being that's why it is known as artificial ecosystem okay because this is naturally uh, not this is not found naturally in the nature okay we have created this okay like we do, uh, like we do fisheries 
uh, in a certain areas where there is no po no pond where there is no river and oceans okay first of all we dig the a uh, huge big tank then after that we um, uh, we grow uh, little small plants okay then we then we uh, then we drop some stones and soils in that particular uh, tank and after that we put uh, some fish on that particular tank by this we do, we do our fishery culture okay so this is a type of artificial ecosystem which is not natural which is which is made by the human being so this is known as artificial ecosystem okay dear student now move to our next part which is impact of agriculture practices now dear student if you talk about the different uh, agriculture practices which affect our ecosystem the first one is uh, desertification if dear student desertification is the washing away of the earth top soil due to the various factors largely by human activities okay it is known as diversification okay we the our mother earth or our earth law or or the part where we do farming okay we lost the fertile soil from that particular area because of the so many human activities or climatic activities like flood like volcano oh okay like earthquake all these are the natural climatic variables now if you talk about human activities like deforestation we did deforestation okay after we did mining okay uh, like we find so many mat uh, raw material from the earth so we dig the earth so because of these human activities diversifications take place dear student there is very complex set of factors which cause exploitation and mismanagement of land leading to diversification production of cash crop for or exporting okay settling more people on a piece of land than required and the last one is uh, deforestation and bad water management causes diversification as i told you now the one thing is cash crop now what is cash crop dear student cash crop means the when you do, when you do farming for export purpose okay when you produce such type of uh, plant okay by which you can earn some money it is simply known as cash cropping okay dear student now water management you all are familiar with this term and uh, deforestation you already uh, familiar with this term so because of these the diversification can take place now the causes of diversification the first one is agriculture practices like the major reason for the diversification is the agriculture practices adopted by farmer to increase their yield these practice includes cultivating crops in drought prone areas reducing fallow periods then in discriminate use of chemical fertilizer so because of this bad agriculture practices okay we are using chemical fertilizer we are cultivating crops again and again the drought places and okay we are converting the land into barren land so because of this bad agriculture practices diversification take place second one is over cultivation okay this exhausts the land using up essentially nutrient nutrients and organic matter needed to grow crops product uh, productively the soil is unable to recover now this is known as over cultivation suppose you grow oh uh, uh, suppose you grow wheat or after some time you also you you grow uh, uh, pulses on that particular land and after some time you grow sugar cane and after some time you grow uh, rice at that particular land so there is no gap between the cultivation of one crop and another crop this is called over cultivation due to this the fertility of soil start decreasing so this is also the reason of diversification the next one is over overgrazing overgrazing you all know about uh, this particular term that to meet the need of growing population cattle farming is increasing rapidly so this removes the vegetation cover that protects the soil from erosion okay so we use our cattle to put them into the grassland and they they do the overgrazing part so because of this the fertile soil is is not holded by the uh, plant and the trees because of grazing there is the possibility of soil erosion okay next is deforestation okay it destroys the tree that hold the soil to be land which i told you the combination of this and poorly drained irrigation system turn the 
cropland salt okay okay dear students so deforestation is also the main reason of diversification next is lack of education and knowledge this means that measures are not taken to ensure that uh, degradation of land is avoided and there is judicious use of natural resources so we must have the knowledge we must have the education of the environment okay education of the uh, agriculture soil okay and our natural climate uh, climates um, education of ecosystem so it is compulsory that we have that much of education so we can maintain uh, the uh, cultivation of land okay we can sustain our natural resources okay dear student next part is construction of dams loss of habitat species okay this is one of the main important point that construction of large dams and hydroelectric projects has posed a big threat to the ecosystem the iduki dam over the uh, parier river in kerala has sharply reduces the forest cover likewise sarda sarovar dam in gujarat narmada sagar in madhya pradesh and tiri in uttarakhand okay we know that we have tiri dam in our uttarakhand are damaging the ecosystem seriously okay all these dam damages our ecosystem okay by, because by creating these dam we destroy a, a area where we have forest where we have living and no, uh, non living organism or living or non living things all these area is uh, in the drop in the inside the water so all these areas already damaged and the by product of this particular this particular dam or the waste material from these dam also oh, create the losses of our ecosystem dear student so that's why it has been estimated that during 1951 to 57 0.49 million hectares of forest land has been lost due to major river valley project okay dear student change in land use have destroyed the natural habitation of organisms driving thousand of species of plant and animal to the verge of uh, disappearance if the ecosystem is destroyed and change drastically the habit the habitant a place which an org organism lives and it org and its organism and lost forever for example now this is the um, example by which you can easily understand this particular topic that how change in land use have destroyed the natural habitat for example 100 year ago the population of tigers in india was 40000 out of a total of 1 lakh tigers in the world at the time of independent india had 24000 tigers out of total of 40000 tigers in the world today it is estimated that the total number of tigers in the entire world is between 5000 to 7500 okay with around 3000 or even less in india so you can see that how the environment degradation how the deforestation and changes in natural resources okay we we reduces the total number of tigers in india so we are so you can see that what we are doing with our nature dear student now our last point is loss of to, uh, top soil this is one of the important point that loss of to, uh, top soil is also the reason of diversification that the top layer of the soil is the most fertile it consists rich organic matter good amount of mineral nutrition soil air and microorganism which facilitate crop production and high yield natural factors and agriculture practices are disturbing the top most layer of this soil which is very productive dear student and makes the field infertile this is also called as soil erosion or degradation of land there are so many reasons for this like overgrazing which i told you to meet the need of growing population cattle cattle farming is increased rapidly these animal graze on very small piece of land destroying vegetation there which is turn causes soil erosion next is next is tillage tillage crushes the soil okay producing large amount of powdery material thus increasing the risk of soil erosion okay when the rain drops hit the bare lost soil it forms mud okay which 
easily washes away dear student so this is also a point for diversification next is mining as i told you that mining is the removals of minerals and other materials in india more than 80000 hectares of land is under the stress of mining activities dear student so the mining activities require removal of plant cover which is known as deforestation okay dear student so that's it for today we will discuss our fourth point and next topic measurement of check in ecosystem in our next video thank you student stay safe stay healthy